Hello everyone and welcome back to Equinox where I am having a nearly impossible time of keeping our guinea pigs in one place long enough that we can go ahead and use this buttercup to evolve a snapdragon which I would be so excited about. So it is trying to evolve and tweak those genetic mutations and create a snapdragon for us so that we can try to make some nut trees but the guinea pigs keep running away. <laughs> <laughs> Every time they loop back, it's so funny because then you can see that we finally managed to get a the snapdragon progressing. But I think that this poor buttercup is actually going to die of old age before that happens. But welcome back. Welcome back to our thriving, growing world. Look at how beautiful this is. We have the boars hopping around in the background. We have the birds swooping through the sky. And soon we will have even more trout and other fish swimming through this area this is gonna be our new riverbed and our new little um oh gosh I guess we'll make it a big lake I'm not exactly sure what kind of lake fish we might get access to as we continue to evolve different plants and we continue to fill all of the niches of our ecosystems but I'm sure we'll find out and speaking of filling ecosystem niches I do actually want to snag let me find where our berry bushes are there we go. I want to snag a berry bush and I want to be able to get the berry bush to go ahead and evolve. Let's see, grab you. I want to, I want to get it to evolve into a holly bush. So we need to get it between 45 and 60 meters. And that would be about up here. So I think we can go ahead and put a berry bush right here. And is it happy? It's not entirely happy. It, but it's not around any disliked species. So I think we can go ahead between 45 and 60. Wait, was this not high enough? Ah, it wasn't high enough. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, we need to go up, up, up. Kind of where we used to have, oh, we still have a whole bunch of those. <laughs> <laughs> the sheep are over here still. There we go. I can't believe they're still here. So here we go, 45 to 60. We're gonna come up where we have our red maple trees. They have actually almost all died off after all this time. It's sort of amazing that they're still there. But now we have a holly bush as soon as we have enough DP. So let's speed up, zoom, zoom, zoom. And we will start selectively breeding to try to get a holly bush to pop over there. So we'll check in on that in a minute. Uh, we do want to put down the jungle grass in just a bit too, but I just really wanted to try to finish getting squirrels before that happened. All right, hold still for a second, kitty pigs. <laughs> They're just way too excitable and they're just zipping all over the place. Yes, all right, we have successfully evolved a snapdragon. It popped down here. I think it's gonna be happy here. Look at the colors, a pretty flower with pacifying properties. This plant has a pacifying effect on aggressive animals when eaten. Wow, that's so interesting. Requires very fertile soil to survive and prefers woodland areas. And it can go from pinks to, uh, oh, there's a bird that just flew by, to beautiful purples. And it actually does love woodland and it pacifies animals. That is so interesting. So if we want to be able to evolve a nut tree, we need to have, let's see, where is my sycamore, sycamore, sycamore. We need to get a sycamore tree for one thing, like here is a sycamore over here. And we need to have it in 85% woodland. So I think I'm actually going to pull up this oak tree. I'm gonna go ahead and remove it so I've got a little bit of room to work. And we're gonna put down a sycamore. Let's see. Oh, look at the fir tree and sunflowers. There's still so much. I can't believe there is so, so, so much that we still have a chance to unlock. All right, and now we need to have three snapdragons near us. So how much are the snapdragons? They're not terribly much. One, two, three. They should be very happy down here. What colors can I change them to? <gasps> There's so many beautiful colors. They have two natural color variants. We've got pink ones, oh, spreading all over the place. And then you can also have yellow ones and cyan ones. Let's get some purple ones spreading around a little bit. I think that would be fun. Yeah, we've got some some like pinkish hues coming in and maybe like a little mix, just a little pinch. 
Oh, you can do like that whole range of various colors. So let's actually maybe do... Yeah, that's all the ones we can modify for now because now I'm out of DP. <laughs> but we can evolve a nut tree. <clears throat> I mean, selectively breed for nut trees shortly here. We just have to wait till we have enough DP. Okay, we have enough DP. I think we're finally gonna have squirrels. The whole reason we bred these bright orange guinea pigs so long ago is about to finally come to fruition. And speaking of fruition, I kind of want to put down over here some more woodland things. So let's actually have something that spreads more woodland. Let's put in... Oh, wait! Snapdragon spread woodland! That's so cool! We'll put down one of those and some buttercups over here. And then I want to put in more apple trees because I really feel like these apple trees help us out so much with that constantly refilling quest. But I also want to work on the potatoes because apparently the potatoes would do well with all of our guinea pigs. And the guinea pigs, if they eat potatoes, have a guinea pig eat 30 potatoes, it will give you a lot of DP. But something else has to dig the potatoes up first, which I'm thinking might be a boar. So that will be interesting. Uh, but all right, and we also still need to have sheep eat five berry bushes, uh, which I, I can't believe we haven't had the merry berry thing yet. I just noticed it has not been filled like weeks later. Oh, and we have holly bushes, yes! Okay, we will be checking in on holly bushes in just a second. I'm putting this next to our sheep, so hopefully we can get the merry berry. Holly bush, how do you do? There we go. The holly bush, suitable for barren land, grass, barren land, wow! And it needs to be above 45 meters. And the holly bush spreads the snow biome. <gasps> That's so cool, we're gonna have a snow biome. It's like miserable here. It doesn't have its liked species with it. What species does it like? Oh, rocks and stones. Hang in there. I'm coming. Have a rock. Have some stones. All right, now what do you think? Oh, now our holly bush is very happy. That's all it needed. It needed kind of like a rocky area. So let's start a snow biome up here. That sounds amazing. All right, we're gonna sprinkle some stones, maybe a few over here, little patches of stone that just kind of like tumble down this mountain and definitely fill in. That might be really nice just to make it look like, I'm so glad we have enough discovery points I can start playing around like that. But let's actually come over, speed up a little bit so I have more discovery points. <gasps> we have a nut tree! Bada boom, bada bing! What do you need my friend? Woodland, its favorite biome is woodland, and it likes to be between 25 and 70 meters. So it's too low right now, for sure. 25 and 70, whoa. All right, I think the nut tree would be happiest. Can I move it? It's way too expensive to move. How much is the nut tree? Where is the nut tree? Okay, happiest probably right there, pretty sure. So yeah, 25. It likes woodland between 25 and 70 meters. Just at 25. <laughs> All right, we have a nut tree. Yes. Okay. Can I have a squirrel now? Uh, Valentino, we need to bring the, the guinea pigs over to the nut tree. And the nut tree needs to be about here. And it needs to be in a woodland. Oh, there's so many little details to make happen, but we finally figured it out. Okay, so this all, we want to spread the woodland again. Snapdragons help. Oregano and buttercup helps a little faster though. So we're going to kind of put this over here. Uh, let's put down a sycamore tree to help spread that. Oh, that really helps. Nice. Yeah, and the sycamore tree isn't quite as fussy as some of the others. And then up along kind of where the sycamores are, are where we're gonna have to start when it comes to putting down the nut trees, unfortunately. And we can probably get some sparrows in there if we put a little effort into it. Uh-oh, did my, is it just the sunlight changing or is my biome type changing? Because it looks suspiciously like my biome type is struggling to establish itself. All right, there we go. And let's go ahead and get a couple nut trees put along here. And they should be very happy up there. 
Are you happy up here? I think you are. Can I make you fun colors? I can make purple nut trees. That sounds so interesting. Uh, this sycamore is miserable though. Why are you so miserable? Oh, it was at the wrong altitude. You do care about altitude. Below 32. Fooey. I ruined the sycamores. I mean, I, I think you'll be okay down here. Yep, that's all it needed. It just wanted to be scooched down a little bit. And that one's- this other one's gonna die. Wait. Right there? Is that all you wanted? Oh. Altitude-related creatures are just so fussy, if you ask me. Alright, suitable biome. And nut wants woodland and grassland. Alright, spread woodland. So it wants more woodland. And the elm tree... Does the elm tree care? Below 45. All right, all right, I see how it is. You know what, I'm gonna get some snapdragons. And they're gonna help me spread the woodland since the nut trees are being so fussy. But all right, so we have the nut trees. We have the guinea pigs. Is this a nut tree? No, it's the sycamore. Is this a nut tree? It is, it's kind of a miserable nut tree. It's not very happy. But is it giving us what we need? Not yet. Is it gonna grow? Maybe not. All right, let's speed up. See what happens. We have so many birds and so many apples. This is fantastic. All right, maybe up here. Yeah, the nut trees are growing up here. So next step is that we need to get some guinea pigs up here as well. And I think if we spread more of the herbs for the woodland, like the oregano along here, and I think that the buttercups need to come and do a little weightlifting, transforming this as well. And then maybe a lot of snapdragons, if they'll put up with this. I think that they're at the wrong altitude. Oh, why did I waste those? They are at the wrong altitude, aren't they? Below 30. Man, those nut trees. And it just needed to be a little bit below, like down here. Those nut trees are so fussy and specific. Okay, there we go. Hopefully that'll do good. <gasps> nuts! We have nuts! Okay, quickly! We must transplant some of these guinea pigs! Grab this little guy. Come here, Jerry. You're gonna live here now. Eat the nuts. Eat the nuts, Jerry. Where are you going? No, Jerry! You, you're ready to, to move past following your parent, okay? Ah, dang it. I wasted all those discovery points. Okay, Sterling. Come here. You're gonna live here now. You are going to eat these nuts. Understand? Come eat nuts. Come eat nuts. His diet is now oregano. He's panicking. This is not productive. Come on, Sterling. Eat the nuts. Getting food, grazing, panicking. He's just going in circles. He needs to eat nuts. <laughs> All right, so now we just have to wait until our guinea pigs start eating nuts. But we have some more babies. Is this Sterling? Did you come back to me? Sterling, you came back to me. <laughs> All right, don't eat the oregano. Eat the nuts. Wait, 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 that one ate a nut. That one ate a nut. Jerry, I saw you. I saw you do it. There's more nuts over here, Jerry. Come on, Jerry. Think like a squirrel. Think nuts. Oh, 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 oh. I saw it. I saw it happen. We've got nuts. What about you? What about you? <gasps> I saw it happen. I saw it happen. Boom. Thank you, Pirate the Guinea Pig. <laughs> Pirate the Guinea Pig is going to bring forth a new era. Are you guys ready for this? Of squirrels. Wow, look at this. <gasps> wait, 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 there's a squirrel already. <laughs> there. Boom! Are we happy? I think we're happy. A squirrel has now joined the family. It has moved on in with the guinea pigs. It is so cute. Look at this little guy. Look at this. I can't believe the, 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 the guinea pigs have adopted a squirrel into their ranks. It's an adorable little one. This is so cute. I love the just the view that we have of the whole world. I love how our world is evolving. It has all these little patches where we're trying to... Oh, how are my... Oh, yes! My purple tulips have totally taken over this area. I am so happy for them. What do they love again? They love grassland. 
So we're gonna spread some grassland so that I can have those purple tulips continue on uh, with some wild mint, why not? We're gonna spread this around here if the mint wants to come and join us. And I don't really want to have competition flower-wise. So I'm just gonna spread this grass tuff uh, to encourage those tulips not to die off. Our purple trout are still going strong, thank goodness. Um, I might take out the other normal trout just to make sure that we don't have to worry. Mm, hmm, I don't wanna lose the population after all. But all right, so guys, and how is our holly doing? Up here, it is spreading around a little bit. I almost forgot that we're supposed to come over and we are supposed to spread some snow. Boom, boom, boom. And now we finally have something on the snow touched peaks that will begin spreading around. I am so excited. We have guinea pigs who have brought in our wonderful, wonderful squirrels. Hopefully soon we will have mini squirrels. And we have completed a strange mutation on a tall tree. No, come back! Come back, where? Where? I went too fast. I went too fast. We'll have to see if the strange mutation on a, whoa, hi Cloud, on a tall tree shows up ever again. I have no idea where it was. <laughs> and I have no way of checking, which is uh, quite the pity, unfortunately. So we'll have to see what happens next time. With all of the sparrows spreading across the world, we can even put down some over here if we wanted. Look at that. I think I'm finally, finally getting a hang of this and I am so in love with everything that we are doing. So guys, if you would like to celebrate with our squirrels, do please leave a like and enjoy a little nut. And oh, it even jumps in trees. I love that. I love that so much. Look at it living with its happy little family of adoptive guinea pigs. This is so cute. This is just so cute. I'm, I'm absolutely nuts for this game. <laughs> But please leave a like to uh, share the nuts with our baby squirrel! Yes! And if you have not yet subscribed, do please consider joining us for this and literally thousands more adventures. And I will see you guys next time. Bye bye